Not much has changed, but it's definitely got some frame support now. And she's, uh, she's pretty dialed. But there she is, dude. Nobody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. So only the original Mob Boys are going to have this um, for now. I might do something else that I'll be able to sell to the, the Mob Boys YouTube family. But uh, this one's just for the OGs right now. But we made some Mop Boys pendant chains. And these things are crazy nuts. Like, but basically I have 10 of them right here. All for the original Mop Boys. They just have the basic necklace on them right now. So everyone can get their own chain or whatever they want to put on. But I got, I got 10 of them. Um, and uh, the people who are getting them are the people who've basically been in Mop Boys since the beginning. If you guys want me to make these and you guys are actually interested in these, let me know in the comments below because they are a little expensive to make, but I could probably sell them for around like $25 a piece. And uh, they're sick. They're actually like 1 8 steel and all the letters are cut together. They're like actually really, really good quality. As you can see, there's like hoops on each one. I don't know. They're so sick. Daniel has a chain like I do on mine. Ice. I should get this thing pimped out by Johnny Dang. I'm gonna have to get these out, pass them out to everybody. It's like 7 in the morning right now, I'm about to head into work. And um, I'll give James a raise there first. And then tomorrow I'll probably get like Robert. And I think everyone, like, I think like Juan and Ardra are out of town, so I'll have to get those when they get back. Alright, so there's a few things going on tonight. But um, the main reason I'm pulling out my camera is because I'm finishing this scooter build once and for all. It, it's literally been sitting here like a skeleton the last week when all I have to do is put on my damn plastics and I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna pull this thing out and I'm putting on the plastics and I'm gonna finish this scooter. That way I can start riding it again and uh, get back to the scooter videos, film some moto vlogs and have some fun. I still need to do the head gasket in this dirt bike. Um, my bug's also leaking oil so I gotta do the head gasket in that. And then my BMW which is out here. I pushed everything out of the garage right now because I'm doing a switch so I'll put the cars. I'm gonna put the bug near the back and put the um, BMW at the end because I plan on painting my engine bay on the BMW. I haven't really been showing you guys that because I've been going crazy putting in a bunch of work on this engine bay, shaving it and cleaning everything up lately. Um, sanded it yesterday, basically it's got it completely cleaned up, ready for paint. So that's that. Like I've, I've, this is just where like the serial number stickers were and uh, a couple things I shaved off. But I, I cut out the inner part of the fenders. Um, it's cut like this, just, I don't know, that's just how I've looked it up, and a lot of people do it like that with their E36. I take it something probably mounts right there, maybe to hold the headlight corner in, um, not too sure, but that's how a lot of people done it, so I just followed in those footsteps, um, cut that out, took out the brake booster, I have a, I had ABS delete, cut off those brackets, um, took out my brake booster, because I have a brake booster, um, eliminator kit coming in from Chase Bays, which is like super small and it tucks up in there in the corner. I cut off this giant like tray that's out right here. I think this is where the windshield wiper fluid went or something. Some type of fluid container went here. Bunch of parts coming in right now. I have a clutch and flywheel kit coming in. I have um, headers coming in. I have transmission mounts, engine mounts, coolant block off plates for my motor. All the grunge work out of the way and I haven't really filmed any of it because it's not too fun for you guys to watch. But I've been cleaning my motor up. Um, still got to clean up a little bit more. I got to pick up a pressure washer tomorrow so I can clean that, clean my engine bay good, and then hopefully paint my engine bay tomorrow, if not on Sunday. So, yeah, that's the plans for that, but I have a lot of stuff to order still. I think I'm going to film that video tomorrow explaining everything I'm doing um, when I paint the bay and clean that up because I kind of want to keep that for a different video to focus on the BMW, but I have a bunch of stuff in the works for that. The bug's finally seeing some outside air because this thing's been tucked away for a while, still leaking a bunch of oil. I haven't done the gasket in this because I got pulled the motor. I've been occupied by my other projects, neglecting the shit out of this one because, uh, I don't know, I've worked on this thing too many times over the past three years that once it was leaking oil, I was just like, Phew. the last thing I want to do is take this motor back out. It's super easy, I'm not gonna lie, but it's just, I just got so bored of working on that car. So, kind of taking a break from the bug right now. And uh, it's not registered at the moment or anything, so I'm not really missing out on driving it too much. I'm missing driving it, but I'm not missing out because I can't really drive it anyways. But so much stuff coming, so much stuff. In the meantime, since I got the garage all open over here, I'm gonna pull the scooter over here and uh, get this thing, uh, and get this thing finished. Not even really because I want to, mostly because I'm tired of moving these plastics around because they've been all over the garage for the last two weeks. So 
I'm gonna throw them on, get this thing out of the way. Daniel still has his Elite here taken apart. I saw my Elite over here sandwiched in the corner, and yeah. It looks like my switch wires are too short for my tail light, which sucks, but it's not the end of the world, so. Get that screwed in, and then get this whole front plate on, and then, uh, yeah, put everything together. All right, so I put the bottom plate on, and like this backing, um, got all my switches mounted. So we got our underglow, this one's brake light, and then we got headlight. So, got all those mounted. Now I need to put this front plaque on. I'm mad because I wanted to hot glue it because it's all cracked all around it, but uh, didn't get the chance to do that. I don't have a hot glue gun at the moment, so hopefully this thing doesn't break. Put it back on, put my light back on, on top of that, and then uh, start putting all the side plastics on. Daniel's over here still welding. He's building the wide body for his E30 right now. So, he's just been going crazy on that for the last like week or so. Front plates on, bottom parts on, mats on. Now I just need to do my side covers which are up there, put those things on, and then it's done. I also need to get a grip, but uh, yeah, so far, my baby's back. Sorry for the annoying noise, but uh, he won't stop going in on his car right now. So, putting his seats on, zip tie everything back together, screw's done, that simple. Basically, my whole scooter is held together by uh, 105 zip ties, so that's about it. Zip tie everything I can. My moped looks so much different, Daniel. So just, much different? Yeah, dude, just look at it. It looks so much different than the first, <laughs> than before I took it apart. <laughs> it literally looks like the exact, you can't even fucking tell nothing happened. Yeah, it's glittery. Oh yeah, it's glittery. Okay, well, moped's done. Tires completely flat again. I need a new wheel. But um, it's all, the wheel's bent and the, the tire's destroyed, so it always goes flat. But here's the ped. The V3, not much has changed, but it's definitely got some frame support now. And she's, uh, she's pretty dialed. But there she is, dude. Also, it has the crossbar support, but again, something that you really can't see now with it being built. How's she look to you, bro? I don't know, I feel like... Yeah, that looks sick. Yeah, right? She looking good, dude. Oh my god, bro. Dude, do you see how easy that starts? This thing's ready to ride. We can ride tonight, actually. What the hell? Well, suck. <laughs> well, the moped runs, it just gotta be warmed up, but scooter's complete, dude, that's one, one project, one project done. I didn't really change much on it, but it's frame supported now and I can't wait to ride it, see how dialed it feels, because the other day, like when I test rode it, when it was just the frame, and there's no plastics on it, it felt so good turning, so we'll probably go on a ride, maybe this weekend or something, huh? I'm stoked the moped's running now. It's complete, it's back to my only reliable vehicle resource right now. This thing's always been reliable. So knock on wood. But that's why I love this thing. No, I can't now, it's too late. I'm totally meant to film the bug pulling it in and I uh, totally forgot. So didn't film the bug getting pulled in, but bug's here. Now it's time to push the C36 up, get my baby back in the garage. And then um, tomorrow I'm stoked because we're actually finally getting garage shelves. We're doing cabinets all around here, all around the corner to there. Um, so I'll probably actually end up filming that. Hello? I underestimate this. All right, E36 is in. So now I'm gonna start taking all this part and putting all the parts over here behind Daniel's car. And then, uh... Look at that. <laughs> 
I'm gonna throw this fucking hammer at you. Dude, chill out. It's not a big deal. Bro, it's just a joke, dude. You Ever since you did your fender kit, bro, you've been acting so hard. You think you're like somebody new. All you did was weld on some fenders. Leave a thumbs down if you think the fender kit looks good. That means no one's gonna thumb down this video because no one fucking thinks it looks good. Let me get rid of him. Comment hammer if you think that his uh, wide body um, you're DIY. Getting, you're getting it from a bad angle. Oh, what's the good angle? This one? Alright, comment hammer if you think that uh, Daniel's body kit's looking good. Too close now? Are you, so you, saying, you have to look at it for a special angle for it to look good. That just doesn't even sound right. Uh, you're just like, you're so close. You it actually does it. look good, bro. You can't see it. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'll just pull again. Projects are back in the garage. It's late. I'm tired. Scooter's done. <sighs> a bunch of stuff to come. A bunch more projects, which means a bunch more videos, which means a bunch more hours in the garage means a lot less sleep. Oh man. I'll see you guys in the next one.